Greetings, welcome to Facts About Everything. I'm your host, James Egan. Today, we're going to talk about Daredevil's most evil foe, Bullseye. As you've seen in the 2004 film Daredevil, Bullseye has the ability to hurl any projectile weapon with lethal force. Doesn't matter if it's a paperclip, a peanut, or a playing card. I know it's a comic book, so it's not meant to be realistic, but some will find this still a bit too over the top. How could you throw a playing card so hard it would kill somebody? But this is actually possible. There's a man called Yi Tongjin who can throw a playing card so hard it can slice through a watermelon or a cucumber. And that is the first fact about the Daredevil villain, Bullseye. Let's dive in. Bullseye debuted in Daredevil number 131 in 1976. Although he's usually bald, he has blonde hair. Bullseye is not a mutant, nor does he have superpowers. He can just throw really, really, really good. Very little is known about Bullseye. Sometimes he gives detailed explanations of his past, but then admits that he made it all up. His entire life is an enigma. His real name is... Lester, I think? Seriously, nobody knows what Bullseye's name is. His first name is Lester, his surname is unknown. Sometimes when he gives a pseudonym, he calls himself Benjamin Pointexter. This is the name of Bullseye in the Daredevil TV series. He has a scar of a bullseye on his forehead. He carved this himself to mock enemies like the Punisher and Daredevil for being unable to kill him. Bullseye is known as the man who never misses. Until he met Daredevil. <laughs> I never miss. This tainted Bullseye's reputation as the man who can't miss, and Bullseye has obsessed over Daredevil ever since. Bullseye is the greatest assassin in the world. He's the chief assassin of the Kingpin. Also, let me know if you want to do a video about the Kingpin. He suffers from severe delusions and schizophrenia. He once tried to taint Daredevil's reputation by dressing up as him and then committing crimes, much like the Netflix TV series. However, his delusions became so intense, Bullseye convinced himself that he was actually Daredevil. His email address is hit hot target at hit.com. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Bullseye sounds a little bit like Hawkeye. If you watch my Hawkeye video, you'll see that I mentioned that even when Hawkeye was tied up by terrorists, he was able to escape by peeling off his fingernails and then flicking them with lethal force. But Bullseye is even more dangerous than that. When Bullseye is imprisoned, they know if he gets his hand on anything, anyone in his proximity is dead. So they need to put him in a straitjacket so he can't use his hands and they have to liquefy all his food. But even this doesn't stop Bullseye because he doesn't even even need his hands to hurl objects with lethal force. He once broke his own tooth out of his mouth and then spat it at a person's head, fatally penetrating their skull. If you're a Daredevil fan, you know what Bullseye is most famous for, or more specifically, more infamous for. Bullseye killed Daredevil's lover, Elektra, by impaling her with her own sigh. But as you've seen in the Daredevil TV series, death is just a mild inconvenience and then she came back to life, it was fine. On top of that, Bullseye killed Daredevil's lover, Karen Page, by impaling her with Daredevil's billy club. Mental note, never date Daredevil. Although he has no powers, he is incredibly strong. Bullseye is able to lift a whopping 350 pounds. IGN ranked Bullseye at number 35 in their list of greatest Avengers in 2012. And yes, Bullseye was an Avenger. Because when Norman Osborn formed his own version of the Avengers, known as the Dark Avengers, he had supervillains take on the guise of superheroes. So Wolverine's son Dakin became the new Wolverine, Moonstone became the new Captain Marvel, Scorpion fused with Venom became the new Spider-Man, and Bullseye became the new Hawkeye. When he was asked what his greatest weapon is, Bullseye said, intimidation. He has the stamina, reflexes, agility, and strength of an Olympic athlete. Although most supervillains hate Spider-Man, Bullseye thinks he's actually really funny. He used to be an assassin for the NSA. He trained Contras in Nicaragua. He used to be a major league baseball pitcher. Bullseye ended a turf war because everyone involved was interrupting his pool game. As I said, when Bullseye talks about things that happened in the past, it could be made up. We don't know. So we gotta take everything he says with a pinch of salt. But one of the only things that we do know for a fact happened to him as a child is he went to the same school as Wade Wilson, who later became Deadpool. I don't know what Wade Wilson did back then, but whatever it did, it made Bullseye have a passionate hatred for the Merc with the Mouth. Daredevil paralyzed Bullseye in a fight. Bullseye recovered from paralysis when he received a surgical procedure which implanted an adamantium lacing on his spine, which is the same metal on Wolverine's skeleton. Bullseye inspired a woman called Maki Masumoto to become a supervillain. She took on the name Lady Bullseye. Lady Bullseye's character is based on the title character in the film Lady Snowblood. This film also 
also inspired Kill Bill. His weapon of choice is a shuriken. He can consciously go into cardiac arrest. He usually does this when he's been transferred from prison to prison. The police remove his straight jacket to resuscitate him, and then he can easily kill them and walk free. Colin Farrell played Bullseye in a 2004 film, Daredevil. Weirdly, Ben Affleck, who plays the titular character, was originally supposed to play Bullseye. You're good, baby. I'll give you that. But me? My magic. Daredevil eventually had enough of Bullseye's murderous reign and killed him. They had a funeral for Bullseye, where Bullseye's associates threatened a priest to give a sermon saying that Bullseye was basically the greatest person to ever live. But much like Elektra, Bullseye was eventually resurrected by the ninja clan, The Hand. He killed a person with a toothpick from a hundred yards away. After the kill, he gloated by saying, could have done it with less. And if you think that's insane, he once killed somebody, with a paper airplane. And for the final fact, you might be thinking, what's the most ridiculous thing that Bullseye has ever turned into a projectile weapon? And the answer has got to be, he threw a poodle at somebody with lethal force. In his defense, it was a very big poodle. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe. Please let me know if there's any other supervillains you want me to do a video about, and I'll upload it as soon as possible. To learn more facts, check out my books on Amazon. They're available on paperback and Kindle. Thanks for watching. See you again.